Hey guys, James Pyle here with Awareness Elevation and in this video we're going to talk about the concept of finding a mentor. And when I'm talking about finding a mentor, I'm actually talking more of like a distance mentor or what you might consider a remote mentor, right? And what I mean by this is is that a lot of times people think that you know, when we need to find a mentor or when we want to find a mentor, that the best method is to like reach out and contact someone and ask them to mentor us. And you know, by all means, that can be a very effective uh, method and that is something that a lot of people use. And in fact, I've used before in the past to have somebody else mentor me and to have like a mentee-mentor relationship with. And I've also been on the flip side of that. I've been the mentor and had mentees before, right? And I wanna actually present a, a, a different concept today. I wanna to present the concept of actually having a mentor. And the type of mentor I'm talking about having is the kind of mentor that they don't necessarily know you, right? And you don't necessarily have a specific like back and forth dialogue with that mentor, right? And so this is something that I picked up from one of my mentors, right? Somebody who I look up to a lot and aspire as much as I can to be like, however I fall short all the time. And that is a guy by the name of Jocko Willink, right? And Jocko is a former Navy SEAL. He is a legend in the SEAL community, and now he has a very popular, well-known podcast. And he also runs a consulting company. And one of the things that Jocko talks about is one of the best mentors he ever had in his life is a man by the name of Colonel David Hackworth. And this is actually someone who Jocko never was under the tutelage of. Like he was never in direct contact with Colonel Hackworth to be able to learn directly from him. So actually what Jocko did was he utilized the book that uh, Hackworth had written and the book called About Face. And he actually utilized that book as the method for him to be mentored by Colonel David Hackworth, right? So what he what he did is is that you know he he read this book, read through it several times, he began to master it, you know, in his younger life. And what he found and he realized was that there was a lot of mentoring that David Hackworth gave in the book that Jocko could apply directly into his life as a leader, especially in the military, right? And so what he did is he began to develop this mentor-mentee relationship with Colonel Hackworth where he actually looked up to him and took advice from him, but it was advice that he took from the book, right? And so this is actually something that I've begun developing in my life over the past few years is having sort of a unknown mentor, if you will, or a one-way mentor. And that is like, you know, people that I look up to greatly, people I've followed for a lot of years, like Tim Ferriss, um, guys like Brendan Burchard, um, ben Greenfield, my boy Jocko, right? E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. These are people that I look to as my mentors and, you know, quite frankly, for the most part, they don't even know I exist, you know, other than the fact that I may have met them at some point or, you know, took a photo op with them at a speaking event or something like that. I don't have like that personal one-on-one -on -one connection with them where I could like email them or call them or text them and be like, hey, what, what do I do? What can I do, guys? right? Or, sir, what can I do, right? So what I've done is, is I've actually developed a way where I can be mentored by these people and they don't even know that they're mentoring me, right? Like, so for instance, like in the case of Jocko, uh, Jocko is my discipline mentor. One of the mantras that he lives his life on is discipline equals freedom. And Discipline is something that I like. I experienced throughout my life at different periods. I had discipline in some areas and didn't have in others. And in more recent years, this is one area where I've really begun focusing in and making a concentrated effort on a daily basis to become better in my discipline, right? To practice discipline every day so I can be more disciplined. And so I actually look up to Jocko as my discipline mentor. He actually has a ton of information out on discipline. Um, he's got this really cool book called um, uh, The Names of Aiding Me at the Moment. It'll come back to me. It's called The Discipline Equals Freedom Field Manual. And it's actually a very powerful book that breaks down a lot of ways that we can build discipline into our lives. And he's, you know, he's got a bunch of audio clips from his podcast where he talks about discipline. And there's just a ton of content where he's talking about discipline, right? 
So what I've done is I actually like took Jocko on as my discipline mentor and I listen to his his podcast and the different insight he shares and I read the book, The Discipline Equals Freedom Field Manual and I work to apply those concepts in my life as though he is my mentor, right? Like I'm looking in the book, I'm reading in the book and I'm saying, oh, this is what he does in a specific instance to help grow his discipline or to practice his discipline. Well, cool, I can do this too, right? So one of the ways that I've begun practicing the discipline and following the mentorship of Jocko is waking up early. You know, he's a guy who he prides himself on waking up early and getting after the day before the sun is up. And he actually, if you follow his Instagram, you will see that like every single morning he posts a picture of his watch at like 4.30 or a couple minutes thereafter when he wakes up and he's getting his day going. And so one of the things to practice discipline and waking up early actually has been for myself is mastering getting to bed on time, right? So I've actually looked up to him as my discipline mentor and he's helped me to learn to go to bed early and go to bed on time. That way I get the required amount of sleep that I need. That way I am able to wake up early in the morning and give my full effort and be well rested and have my body replenished, right? My body and my mind. So uh, I wanna challenge you guys to actually find a new mentor. You know, go out and find somebody who you look up to, who's a guru or an expert in a certain field. You know, just like how I looked up to Jocko for the discipline stuff, the other thing I really look up to him for in mentorship is extreme ownership and in leadership. He is an awesome leadership mentor. He has some of the best information out there about how to be the best leader. And it starts with extreme ownership. And they define extreme ownership as if everything else in the situation remained the same, what's the only thing that we could change? Well, it would be our own actions, right? And so we take extreme ownership by owning everything and being responsible for everything and the results that we achieve and everything that we do, all the endeavors that we pursue, right? So another great mentor of mine is Tim Ferriss. He wrote The 4-Hour Workweek. I read that, you know, 11, 12 years ago and it absolutely revolutionized my life. And I still look up to Tim Ferriss as a mentor. He's got a bunch of books out, a bunch of information available, a great podcast, everything. So I wanna challenge you guys to actually Flip the script on the mentor thought, on the line of thinking about what you need to find in a mentor, about the ways that that relationship works, and and challenge the line of thought that tells you that you need to actually have that one-on-one back and forth engagement. I challenge you guys because some of the best mentors out there they're full, their schedule's already full. They don't have time to take on a mentee to tootle someone in their ways, right? What they do though is they definitely have time to continue creating content that they're gonna always continue to create and publishing that content. And so what can you do? Well, you can absorb that content and more importantly, you can implement that content into your life and you can begin taking action on a day-to-day basis on that content so you can actually be mentored by them, right? You can model their ways and behaviors and actually use them as a mentor without them necessarily ever even knowing about it, okay? So I want you guys to actually challenge yourself by finding a new mentor, find an expert or a guru in a field, a topic matter that you're interested in, something that you want to master and learn more about and to embody fully and practice in your life. And then you can actually have that mentor begin working with you immediately because you can make the decision that you're going to take what you read and take what you watch in the podcast and in the interviews and you're gonna implement that in your life and you're gonna listen to that stuff on repeat and you're gonna read those books on repeat until you fully master that information and you will learn to teach yourself to take that input and to execute on it, to immediately take it in, put it into play into your life and begin hitting upgrades with it. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys to help get a new mindset and a new perspective on a mentor and ways that you can actually be mentored by some of the biggest people out there, some of the most influential people out there in any field when you choose to follow this path to gain them as your mentor. So I challenge you guys to go to work, get clarity on who you want to be your mentor, and then go and start absorbing their information and implementing in your life straight away and your life will transform. Get to work on this, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.